Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another Love Bite. Sagittarius, let's see um, what's the message here for you today. And a warm welcome back to all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Sagittarius Spirit, what does my Saggy gang need to know? Three of uh, Swords, ooh, Queen of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. Ten of Wands, King of Swords. I have a King of Swords and a Queen of Swords on the table. But there's been some kind of heartbreak between the two of you. But somebody here wants to talk. They want to hold on to this connection. They want their person to return. I think this person has been thinking long and hard. And they are realizing that the person whose heart they broke is their wish come true or they want this happiness back or something like that of course i'm going to clarify all these cards for you sagittarius but first let's start with some dialogue message cards let's see if you guys could say something to each other what that would be and then we'll clarify these sagittarius and that person's spirit if they could say something to each other now what would that be sagittarius and that person take a few more from another deck Sagittarius and that person spirit Sagittarius and that person just a few more from a third deck as well and then we'll start the reading Sagittarius and that person spirit Sagittarius and that person all right good to go let's start the reading and Sagittarius if any of you are looking for personal readings my email is omkarataro at gmail.com you can reach me there it's there in the description box below as well so the first card here says I know that I shouldn't compare others to you but I just can't help it you're a tough act to follow and absolutely no one measures up no matter what has happened between us you are still the one I mean, despite the heartbreak, despite the stagnancy, despite the ending, somebody says, no, I want you back. You're still the one. Loving you is knowing what true love is. There is no logical explanation to my feelings. My heart only responds to yours. You are my endless love. Why do you feel it necessary to try and label me? I'm far more than any label could ever describe. And so is our connection. Your coded, cryptic messages and failure to answer questions drives me up the wall. If you're worried, the karmic is going to see, just call me and tell me the effing truth. It's the least I deserve. I like so many things about you that I don't even know how to tell you that I love everything about you. I think that you were made for me and I was made for you. I didn't run away from you. I ran away from myself. It's all deep down to my deep fear of rejection and my insecurities. I'm heartbroken. I know someday, somewhere, another time, we will meet again. I don't I didn't want to run away. I just ignored you to see your agony over me. I can't control these emotions, so I run. So somebody somebody was a runner here in this connection. Three cards from three different decks. I mean somebody ran and broke that person's heart, but now they want to run back, it seems. Uh, no boundaries between us. We are connected all right so these were some of your messages Sagittarius if these were resonating with your storyline let's start this reading but first as always an angel blessing card and this one is for the viewer now you could be watching maybe your cross watchers here watching uh, offer your energy and sometimes yes in the love bites the energy also gets switched I could be picking up on your energy or your person's energy so a blessing guidance advice or a message for the viewer spirit you're a leader you are you are an inspiration not just uh, to others around you but also maybe to your person so please keep following your path whatever you're doing is working the universe is giving you a pat on the back and saying keep forging forward and we are proud of you you're a leader 
All right. So now let's start with the the three of swords spirit. Why is there heartbreak here? What happened? Three of swords. Three of swords. Somebody was over loving, over giving. I think. Uh, oh, this could be the other person who's hurting now. This is the other person who know they broke that person's heart, but uh, maybe they were in their toxic behavior or something. But now they're obsessed. They're obsessed because they want that person back. It's like, I love this person. I want my person back. They could be scared that the other person has withdrawn their love. And that's kind of really, really stressing this person out big time. I think the more uh, they're realizing... Uh, the more they're realizing that their person may have put boundaries or after whatever heartbreak has happened, I think the more they're valuing that person. It's like, yeah, they're getting inspired. Maybe that the other person is the one who's the leader, right? Now they're very discontent. They're missing their person. They're seeing their person as the perfect person who they want to have a future with or something. I think this person could be very lonely at this time, feeling none of my dreams and wishes will come true here. They could be feeling very stuck and, you know, feeling things are still in troubled waters between the two of you or maybe just going backwards instead of going forward. Uh, they feel that their person has cut them off or maybe put, put up strong boundaries and ended things with them. Uh, Queen of uh, Queen of Swords Spirit. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. Yeah, this person is now wanting to rush back in. They're wanting to race back in. Now they are realizing the value of their person. Now they want this partnership. They want this partnership. This person is manifesting this with their person back. They, they, they now see the value and worth of their person, seeing that, oh my God, this is the person I should have been with for the rest of my life. This person is loving, caring, and doesn't demand anything of me. They're hoping that they, the other person hasn't totally shut the door on them and they can have another go around with that person they are now wanting to jump off that cliff and take that risk and tell that person that you know what you are my two of cups you are my two of cups I, this person wants to try again they're looking into their future and they realize that no i, I want this person back uh, especially after there's been some kind of stagnancy in this connection uh, page of pentacles Page of Pentacles, yeah, and they want to get unstuck from the stagnancy, they say. Uh, now they are wishing, hoping, praying, literally, for a reunion. They're realizing that this is my true match. I love my person. I may not have told them, but I love them. And uh, whatever conflict they created, maybe there was an argument, a fight, they broke their person's heart. This person is very, very burdened by that, feeling very overwhelmed, feeling very burdened. Uh, Ten of Wands, what's the Ten of Wands? Why are you so burdened? Tell me. Ten of Wands. Because now they want to come back and uh, get victory with the person who they hurt in the past. They are ashamed. They are ashamed of some past behavior. Ashamed, embarrassed, uh, regret. Uh, now they are burdened as to how do I tell my person that I see them as my long-term partner. I want to have a future with them. I want to have victory with them right so maybe the other person is not talking to them or something but whoever this person is who wants to return back i think they have they have the clarity now uh, king of swords and they want to talk they want to talk definitely want to talk and tell that person no you are the person you are my two of cups you they want to send a message i think first uh, page of uh, wands page of wands yeah the, a message or an apology a message and an, an apology maybe uh, so uh, tell me more why do you want to apologize why do you want to apologize maybe maybe this person was sitting in their ego and pride or something I don't know maybe they behaved a bit foolishly in the past but now they are holding on to that wish that dream that hope that there is a possibility of a return yeah, they're very, very stressed out. They're very stressed out having anxiety, sleepless nights. All they can think about is, this is my soulmate and I want to return back to them. Uh, six of Cups. Six of Cups. Six of Cups. They want to work things out. They, they want to put in the work and prove to their person. 
that uh, I'm ready to put in the work. I think this person has been miserable and they, they are probably realizing that they delayed coming back for maybe too long. This person is getting impatient now. They have made up their mind, that's for sure. This person is absolutely not into minds. They've made up their mind. This person wants to communicate. They want to talk. This person wants to return back. They want to return back and they want to come in with a romantic offer. This person could also be a little worried, worried uh, because they're not sure maybe whether their person is still single. Uh, they, they, don't, they don't know whether their person has maybe moved on with somebody else. Uh, and that thought is very devastating for them. This person is now wanting to come back and offer a ten of pentacles. They have been thinking long and hard. This person has had a spiritual awakening, it seems. So, uh, what have you learned? What's the hermit? What's the hermit, spirit? What's the hermit? Hermit and the four of swords. My God, this person is... They are, whatever they've learned, it's actually become a burden to them. It's become a burden to them because they realize that something they did in the past, maybe they were juggling, maybe they couldn't make up their mind, maybe they came in only with passion. I don't know what this person did in the past, but they're realizing their own past mistakes and it's kind of burdening them big time. They're realizing now why that person has given up, why that person has taken back power of their own life, why they are not talking to me anymore. Uh, and they could be a little worried. <laughs> they could be a little worried that their person, uh, yeah, see, the fear. The, there is a bit of fear. This person wants to come and speak their truth now. They want to make things right. Yes, this person could have been emotionally unavailable in the past or they could have said something rude or mean or, you know, just thought they, they could always have their way. But this time round, I think this person is wanting to be the one to take that action to, you know, get over that heartbreak that they've caused. Yep, they're absolutely fired up. They're fired up. They're coming in with an ace of cups, an ace of wands. Uh, but there is again that fear. I mean, this person is spying. They are watching. They are very attracted to their person who they feel is their perfect match. They could be a little worried that what if it, this backfires on me? What if my person is already in a new connection? Nine of Cups? What's the Nine of Cups spirit? Nine of Cups. Yeah, they... This person wants a second chance. They are hoping that the chapter hasn't shut down. They feel all my dreams and wishes can come true if... Aha! See again that fear. Again, that fear. Fear is, the reason why they haven't moved already is because they feel, what if it backfires? Because what if I don't have the choice anymore? What if my person has emotionally already walked away from me? What if they, they, there's a fortress out there and I, they don't let me enter? What if they cut me out and say, I don't want you back anymore? What if there is already new love in their life? But from their end, from their end, I think this person, whatever spiritual lessons this person has learnt, they have levelled up. They want to come back now and be the one. They want to be the one to, you know, do the right thing, make things right, heal that broken heart. This person is ready to offer everything now, from the Ten of Cups to the Ten of Pentacles. So expect some communication. I think this person will try and communicate. And yes, this person does want to come back. They don't want any other option anymore. It's like everything is pale in front of the person who they are desperately missing. And they know maybe in the past they made some very unwise and foolish choices. Now this person could be feeling miserable. They could be feeling lonely. They could be feeling stuck <clears throat> and they want this happiness back. And for that, this person is ready to come and offer the biggest offer possible. Yes, they are a little scared that it is going to backfire. Uh, that's, that's the only fear I think I'd see time and time again. The only fear is what if my person has given their heart to somebody else? So, yeah, otherwise they are absolutely ready. That's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Till next time then, love and light. Take care. Namaste.